provide okay i need to see i don't want to see it off of here we go i want to see it directly from the government not wikipedia okay this okay let's just read this the inflation reduction act of 2022 will make a historic down payment on deficit reduction to fight inflation inflation invest at first i want to know where the hell they're getting this down payment because we ain't got any money so we're that we're that's the first question i've got automatically um invest in domestic energy production so they're trying to cut out oil they're trying to make it energy all electric and all of that whatever and manufacturing and right there reduce carbon emissions by roughly 40 percent by 2030 2030 what does this sound like what does this sound like this is the word for word almost from the World Econ Forum. Klaus Schwab himself, in his words, said, By 2030, you will own nothing and you will be happy. This 2030 year does not keep popping up in all these government things for no reason. That is the World Econ Forum timeline to finish the whole Great Reset. But anyway, the bill will also finally allow Medicare to negotiate for prescription drug prices and extend the expanded affordable... Oh, God. Now, hold on a second. Hold on a second. You're supposed to be reducing costs, and you're saying that this expands the Affordable the Affordable Care Act program for three more years, which is by far one of the worst government health programs any country has ever tried. I mean, there's no doubt about that. You know, it costs twenty thousand dollars to go to the hospital if you've got a hiccup. So. Uh, why they're extending this, that's going to cost more taxpayer dollars, so that's not a reduction right there. That's more money spending. The new proposal for the budget bill is approximately $300 billion in deficit reduction and $369 billion in... This is not a... This is not... Guys. Guys, this is not a... This... I can't even. This is not an Inflation Reduction Act. They are looking to invest $300 billion from where? And then they're going to spend $369 billion more. They're going to spend $600, well, actually it says right here, $739 billion. If you are in debt, taking out more debt, spending more money does not get you out of debt. This is how, mm, this is how dumb our politicians are, our government is. This Inflation Reduction Act does nothing. It does not lower, look. So right here, it enacts historic deficit and deficit to reduction to fight inflation. No, the, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You're spending money. You are not cutting money. This is not a reduction. Spending money is not a reduction. Spending more money is not a reduction. This is common sense. Allows Medicare to negotiate drug prices and caps out of pocket cost to two thousand dollars. So the whole Medicare thing they're talking about, it's so good, their extension, it just allows them to negotiate the prices up to two thousand. There's medicines that cost fifty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars a month, and this is only going to allow Medicare, the government, to negotiate up to two you're the you're the government. You can't negotiate more than $2,000. People out there, if you want universal health care, these are the idiots who would be the ones to do it. And as I said before, they can't math. They cannot Like right here is a perfect example of why they can't math. They don't understand that spending more money does not reduce inflation. You are spending more money. This is so unbelievably crazy. This this bill is nonsense, garbage, ass. I don't care what side you're on. Everybody needs to fingers crossed that this bill doesn't pass. Because this bill is only going to cause inflation to go up. Like the audacity for them to even call this inflation reduction reduction when all they're doing is spending, is unbelievable. I'm trying not to cuss. I really want to cuss at this because how stupid this is. I'm going to drop this into the live chat for you guys. Holy Jesus, God, this is stupid. There you go. If you guys want to check that out, 
So I can tell you right now, if this is what investors are excited about, that this is somehow going to fix the economy, first off, let's do the math. We're $30 trillion in debt. The Federal Reserve is $8 trillion in debt. Even if you give them the $739 billion, that's not going to touch the interest on the debt. Right? So all they're doing, oh God, oh, I didn't even read this corporate, let's see, a 15% corporate minimum tax. And what the? what is a corporate minimum tax? Because I'm an LLC, I am in a corporation. Small businesses like me definitely are not going to, you can go ahead and kiss my ass. I'm not paying another 15%. Prescription drug pricing reform, IRS tax enforcement. Oh, so they want to, they want to spend $124 billion to make sure that everybody's paying them tax dollars. That's why they're pushing this out there. They're like, oh, this is how we can make some money. Let's raise taxes on everything. And then we'll use that and break the whole middle class and lower class, the whole engine of what makes America and countries run. Like, this is insanity. This is so ins Oh, my God. And of all the things, of all the things of importancy on their list, the biggest thing they've invested in is energy security and climate change, $369 billion. And it has three stars. That's how important it is. This is not an Inflation Reduction Act at all. This is, this is we're going to get whatever the f*** we want, and we're going to rape the American people. That's what this is. And I, I challenge anybody. I don't care who you are around the world. I don't care if you're a Democrat, senator, county person, whatever you are. If you defend this bill and you want to come on the channel live and defend it against me, I will be happy. I will be so happy to throw you right in the Framework Fortune Graveyard playlist because you're full of shit. All of you are full of shit in this government. This absolutely cannot pass. This is going to not help inflation. It's only going to cause more inflation and it's going to screw over everybody. And it is going to give the IRS more money to be able to screw people over even more, right? IRS tax enforcement. They are adding money to tax enforcement. Oh, God. Guys, share, like, subscribe. Get this shit out here because we've got to stop this nonsense. Like, as, as like a country, we've all got to come together regardless of what side you're on, what you believe in. This is a piece of paper of literal F you middle finger to all of us. Every single one of us from our government. So... Stop all the arguing about abortion and stuff like that. We can have those discussion debates later, but right now at this second, we're not going to have a U.S. dollar or a country if we keep going down this road. This is insanity.